Good evening. Thanks for joining us on KLBK. Here's a look at your local headlines. Congressman Jody Arrington spending time at UMC's coronavirus drive through clinic earlier today. More than 6,000 cars have passed through the unit as patients go through the screening process. Arrington giving a big thanks to all the healthcare professionals making sacrifices and continuing to work on the front lines. And barbershops in the Hub City are finally open after a long seven weeks. Owner of Jerry's Barbershop, Marie Stanley, says they're taking all the necessary precautions. His barbers are all wearing masks, seating is spaced out, and customers are waiting in their cars. Marie says he's just glad to be back doing what he loves. That's a look at your local headlines. Trends and Friends starts now. Hello and welcome to Trends and Friends. Thanks for joining us. Today is Friday, May 8th. I'm Rache Ade, and of course we have our Heidi Wagner with us today. Happy Friday, Heidi. Happy Friday. I'm excited. It's almost the weekend. It's been a very long week. It has been a long week. I agree with you completely. But you know, yesterday we talked about it being National Prayer Day. Today it is National Military Spouses Day, which we thought was such a, a really good um, day for us to really give some appreciation to because those military spouses go through so much. So we just commend them for everything that they do and for sticking around and just making sure their families are safe, but also giving um, those who are in the military that extra effort and encouragement that it takes to go out on those front lines every day, you know? Well, exactly. And I feel like we always commend the military. They do so much for our country, but the military spouses make a lot of sacrifices as well. And I feel like some of us are finally getting to see what they go through every day because we're not necessarily able to spend time with our loved ones because they're fighting the pandemic that we're going through right now. Right. So just a little extra special thank you to all those folks out there. Absolutely. You know, I, I've told you before that when we were in Oman, sometimes as expats, we would get confused as military families. And we weren't, but we lived a very similar life because we were constantly traveling, constantly having to move. And so we made yep. the best of friends with them because our lives were just kind of on the move all the time. And um, sadly, my life continues to be that way. And so my husband has now been transferred to Houston. And so I will be with you guys one more week and I am thrilled for that one more week. Uh, KLBK has been amazing to me. Trends and Friends has been my dream. And so I have loved every single minute of it. I'm gonna miss it like crazy. I'm gonna miss you, miss the whole crew here. But um, it's been a fun two years, you know? It has, and we're really going to miss you, but uh, technically this is home, so we know you're going to come back at some point. <laughs> That's the most important thing. <laughs> Absolutely. My mom is here, so you know I'll continue to be coming back all the time. Y'all probably will That's get tired right. of me. They were like, isn't she really gone? <laughs> when is she leaving? <laughs> but my official last That's day right. is, so is that's next all we have Friday. To keep in mind. Exactly. You know, I'll be back. Official next day is next Friday, and um, in the meantime, we'll, we'll meet with some of my favorite friends that we've, I've done interviews throughout the week, so we'll see all of that next week, okay? we got to get on to a great like show. It. it is an awesome show ahead. We're going to speak with an endocrinologist who's out of the New York area. She's got some fascinating information, so if you are one of the ones who may be suffering from diabetes or obesity, you definitely want to make sure to listen to that segment. Plus, we'll also hear from TTU's only pro uh, program, they are talking about our seniors in this community and how important it is for them to continue to be social even while they're practicing social distancing at home. And we'll have a fun surprise for you later on in the show. We're going to bring it back to Cinco de Mayo and end with a beautiful note, a beautiful song. All that fun is coming up in just a little bit. But first, we're going to send it over to Heidi with a check of our weather. Heidi, it was a little chilly today. You gave us a heads up on it, but is that chill going to go into the weekend? It is going to go into the weekend, but we will see some nicer conditions on the way, which is good news for all those folks who maybe wanted to head outside to celebrate dear old mom. If you take a look outside right now, we are seeing nice, clear conditions outside. Now, of course, when it comes to your current conditions, we are sitting in the mid 60s, so a lot cooler than yesterday. If we take a look at what to expect for tomorrow, you can see here highs are going to be getting back into the mid 70s, but we will be seeing lots of sunshine on the way and that trick 
shopping continues for your Mother's Day as well. However, we are going to see some big changes for the beginning of next week. We'll have those details coming up tonight at 6. But for now, we're going to toss to break, and we'll see you with more Trends of Friends in just a second.